Well, uh, the oil leak has sort of come to fruit. On the school run this morning. Um, basically just waiting to get recovered now. Hindsight, I should have tweeted in two weeks ago. Um, but then again, we'll we'll see how we get on. Give a tip: get some um, cat litter. It's good for absorbing oil. What seems to have happened is the leak is basically the interchange between the gearbox and engine. Engine's working fine. Gearbox seems fine. It's just that they're not interlinked when I tried to pull out this morning it basically just went clunk as if the gearbox is sort of dropped back and not engaging rather than trying to force it just to get home we've got some roadside recovery and going to drop it into uh, a mechanic to have a look because at the moment I think we've got all the bits to get it back on the road Wherever I drove it, I could do a, rip the teeth off the gearbox, which is one thing I don't want to do. So at the moment, just sat at the side of the road, stuck here. But April's just gone off to get a cup of tea and bring some tea back for us. Um, but hey ho. The thing about this sort of stuff is it's just life. Um, I know some people get frustrated and annoyed or there why me um but i just look at it this way it's an old van these things happen um nobody's killed nobody's hurt and it did it in a parking space which is a lot better than going along the motorway and seeing clunk click and, and looking in your mirror seeing your gearbox shooting off down the motorway behind you um so from that that point of view positive I still have most of my gearbox I still have my engine um, if anything it's going to be new seals new bolts and hooking the things back together but funny enough I was talking to somebody the other day about the oil leak um, I was talking to Steve in Ibiza and I said I thought there was something wrong with the um, there had been a gearbox change because there was a bolt missing I could see it from underneath well obviously I was right um, but I'm a little bit disappointed with myself because I should have took it in for repair two weeks earlier. But with the Christmas and everything else and you get sidetracked with stuff and I'm still down with the flu. I actually look quite pale looking at myself in the camera here. Because um, I slept yesterday for about 14 hours because I've been, I've been pretty sick. Um, so can't have everything. But I'm just hoping this is maybe 150 euros down the drain, about 150 euros well invested um, to get it pr properly done. Because I think the guys that sold me it didn't do a, a good job of it, which is why it's disconnected itself. Um, my fingers crossed we're not looking at anything too hefty. Um, one way or the other it's going to get back on the road.